Thank you, Mark, and hello, everyone. I'm sorry I can't be with you this year, but I really appreciate the opportunity to say a few words. First, I want to thank Nan Roman, the National Alliance to End Homelessness, and all of you at this important conference. You all do outstanding work to help ensure that every American has a safe, decent place to call home. And over the years, it's been my pleasure to work with you towards a common goal, ending homelessness. As you know, in 2010, the Obama administration released Opening Doors, the first ever federal strategic plan to prevent and end homelessness. Specifically, we committed to ending veterans and chronic homelessness by 2015 and ending family and youth homelessness by 2020. I'm proud to say that we've come a long way. From 2010 to 2012, veterans homelessness dropped more than 17%. The number of people experiencing chronic homelessness dropped 9%. And preliminary numbers we've received from communities suggest those numbers continue to drop. In addition, although family homelessness remained flat from 2010 to 2012, we know it could have been much worse in these terribly difficult times. So progress is happening, but make no mistake, we can and must accelerate it. The Obama administration is firmly committed to this work and has proposed an increase in homeless resources each year in support of our goals. Unfortunately, most of those increases haven't been funded. In addition, we know that sequestration will put at risk not just the ability to fund new projects, but also funding for existing work. So all of us are going to have to get creative and implement new strategies that will make us more effective at what we do. At HUD, we're constantly looking at ourselves in the mirror and asking tough questions. And I urge you to do the same. What can you do differently to serve more people with improved outcomes? Can you better target existing mainstream resources, such as housing choice vouchers and public housing, to serve the homeless? Can you prioritize turnover in your non-designated permanent supportive housing beds for the chronically homeless? Can you use more of your emergency solutions grant funds for rapid rehousing instead of prevention? Because we've learned from studies and HPRP that rapid rehousing works and is often a cheaper solution. In a wide variety of areas, we've got to think outside the box to advance progress. To help you achieve this goal, HUD recently started a communications effort to provide you with information that will support your work. We're stressing the effectiveness of the Housing First approach. We're highlighting the importance of building upon public and private partnerships. In short, we're providing you with our insight on policies and practices that will help you continue to make a difference in so many lives. We're doing it because we value the life-changing work that all of you do every day, and we want you to continue to succeed. Through partnership, we've accomplished so much over the years, and I look forward to working with you to finish the job. So let's be creative and develop new solutions to problems that have plagued our society for far too long. Let's rally others around our cause and spark real urgency about the need to accelerate the progress we've made in recent years. And together, let's finally end homelessness once and for all. Thank you.